Hi gang, sorry it's been a while, I've not put a vlog up for a while. Uh, simply, there's been no progress on the app. Uh, uh, I've started on the electrics, uh, nothing really to talk about, you know, a bit of wire hanging here and there, so it's about as, uh, as dull as it could get. Uh, today I'm going over to see uh, my man Kerry over at Stickard. Uh, he helped me a lot out on the, the, the getting the truck sign written and uh, various other things, good fella. Uh, if you're looking to get anything uh, sign written up, go and see him over at Stickard. Uh, uh, after visiting him, I've got to sort out, well, uh, the reason I'm visiting him is to sort out um, some signage for Project Dragonfly uh, and uh, also for Recon Rifles. So I'm going to go and sort that out and I also need something moved on as far as uh, a banner above our first person shooter club goes. Uh, we've been using old banners for a while, so it's about time that I had a bit of an update. Anyway, I'm going to go over and see him. He's a busy guy. They've got, he's got a number of projects on the go as well. Um, so uh, you know, I'm just going to go over there and see, see, see if I can, uh, get, you know, get him to sort of sink out for me. Uh, after that, I'm going to go to the to the Project Dragonfly Club, uh, and I'm going to carry on. I've got a consumer unit to fit up there. I might take uh, uh, some video there while I'm up there just to show you what you know what the plans is with the electrics, uh, and I'll catch up on this uh, later in the day. Right, gang. I've been to see Stickard, uh, and we've worked Sank out as far as the uh, the signage goes here, and uh, uh, some signage on one of my other projects. Uh, I'm at the track now. I've been working away here uh, on on various little little bits and pieces. Uh, I'll get inside in a sec. Although it looks like a real lovely day here at the track, um, there is a storm coming in tonight, and uh, you know I can already see the, the trees moving. And I'm not sure whether you're picking it up with a GoPro, the wind. I know it can do that down there, so uh, so I'll get inside. Um, what I want to talk about is, um, I have alluded to it earlier in these vlogs, um, where, you know, having a job to keep everything going, uh, it, it, unless you've got a heap load of cash, uh, is an important thing. Uh, I do, as I've said, have, a, uh, have other income, uh, which gets me by, pays my bills. They are two other clubs, uh, they obviously, you know, they're, they're, they've been running a long time and they need uh furnishing so to speak you know they need me to pay to get stock and stuff like that so i've got to be real careful you know what i spend so so it's the age, age old thing of uh cash flow uh as far as it goes on this project i've run into a bit of a wall uh, i said i'd share the, the highs and the lows with you uh, i've done that i mean it's not nothing desperate it's just you know for someone like myself who who's who, who wants it done now and, and let's do it and you know that sort of drive uh, it can be a bit frustrating where you you, you know you're held up a little bit um, you know, th there is the thing I could open the club um, and just start going with it. I could open both clubs that I'm going to run out of this hut. But um, just simply, it, it wouldn't be awesome enough for me. It, it would be it would be half half hearted. Uh, you know, the track wouldn't be how I want it before I open, and and indeed the rifle range wouldn't have the target systems in place that that I want to have. So so rather than disappoint people um, when they first come up here, obviously I'll, you know in every sense I want them to go away from here. You know, thinking that you know this this is a really great place, which is really happening, and uh, I need to be part of it. Obviously, it's important to the success, and it helps you get a return on the investment. So, so basically, there's all there's obviously lots of things uh, I can be getting on with, uh, not the, the major things that I want to be getting on with, but you know, there's always something to do, right? So, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, again, you know, the cost is the little things. You know, you know, a box of screws, uh, you know. I'm just putting in the electrics. You can see, uh, let me just run through. So I've got electrics here. <clears throat> um, this stud wall I'll talk about in a minute, but it serves a dual purpose. Uh, we're we're going to have a, a bench round here, so we can have the laptop on here, uh, and this electric's going to service that. And then uh, you know the, the 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 track official can look out of here, keep an eyeball on the track while while running the lap timer or whatever we've got going on there. Uh, also, this will double up as uh, you know when the air rifle's running out of here, we can have a spotter here, you know, and, and obviously keep safe eyes on track. Uh, on the range it will be then uh, while that's all going on so that's that's some really important area here uh, we've got the fuse box up there it's not cheap um, we've got lights oh let me tell you we obviously we got uh, pilots we're hoping here to do um, a lot of night type uh, flying as well as night shooting uh, we can have the area out there lit up so that, that'd be pretty pretty impressive when it's done but in these podded areas we're going to need some lights, so we've got some LEDs. Again, it's all, it's all money. Uh, we've got lights going up here, as you can see. This is so we've got our, our charging bench area where all the chargers are going to be keeping you, keeping you in the air. Um, 
They're all, they're all in there. Um, there's, a, there's a bits of wiring I can do. Again, that's not going to cost me any money. I've, you know, I'll, I'll put that in, and I'll just get a friend of mine to come and check it out before I spark it up and bad things happen. So, so anyway, that's that sort of So, to talk about this, okay. So, the idea for that is that's its first lock. That's kind of its first lock-off point, and and the pilot that's in this area here. Uh, won't have to worry about the, you, know, you know too much going on around this backside once this is all locked in in place. Uh, when uh, you know the the, the, uh, the track officials there looking out on the track, uh, then this will open up, and this in turn will this in turn will lock in, just like that. I don't know if you can you can really see that. Um, the pilots will then be in here, and they'll have their own little area looking out on the track. Nice, no, it'll be it'll be good, and uh, hopefully. Uh, a little bit different than what most people are used to. Um, also, what we're going to do is we've got um, some worktop going in here. Um, that's going to have a, a, a stand up this end worktop. This is going to come over, stand in there, and this. And basically, the reason for this wall being here, giving us a good backing, is so when all, each of the worktops are in place, then the final worktop will come down. And that'll uh, that will lock everything in tight because obviously if you're shooting rifles out of here and you're trying to be accurate, the last thing you want is a wobbly system here where what someone does up there is resonating down to here. So hopefully that the idea is that will lock that in that final one and that will keep that tight. On on uh, track days, this these can all come come out and get stored over in that corner out of the way, and then these will just be locked off manually, and then we'll have our little pods for the pilots. So there we have it. We 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 got a light going in here. We've got electrics going in here, we've got lights up here, um, and we've got a little area, which is a control area, which is going to be right here. So that's it. So it, it's got to the stage where, you know, I want to do some interesting video logs about what's happening, but it's quite simply when nothing's really happening, it's a bit difficult to put together anything interesting. So so again, I'm just, I'm being honest with you, um, you know, money's tight. I mean, it's not disastrous or anything like that, but it's saying if you're getting into a project like this, you know, you've either got to totally price it out so you know where it's going. I didn't do that because, quite simply, um, I knew it was going to cost more money than I had, and I knew there would come a point where uh, things would get tight on the project. Uh, again, I've got a couple of other clubs that, 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 that are really important to me, important to the people who come to them, uh, and I've got to make sure they're, you know, they're, they're solid. So uh, I won't overstretch myself at this point, and just as and when money becomes available, I'll get it in. Um, a strange quirk really, we went for uh, the rifle range as, a, as just a secondary use, thinking outside the box use for the hut, uh, and, it, and it just seems, uh, you know, that's going to be the one thing that's going to, that, that's going to really sort of, you know, jump out the trap, so to speak, and, uh, you know, and, and quickly start bringing in a return because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people want to get into that, so that's great. The Project Dragonfly, uh, for those of you who are in FPV, you know, obviously you know about all the great things that FPV is and, and, and how exciting it can be when you're racing or whether you're just freestyling or you know just meeting up with like-minded people that are into the LB sport if you like. Um, so, you know, so as it turns out, um, you know, getting the Project Dragonfly on the Isle of Wight into everybody's mind so everybody knows how great it is was always, always going to be uh, a process. Uh, I've said early in the earlier video vlogs that you know six to twelve months um, I've given myself to, to achieve that to, to achieve that mission and uh, and yeah so you know uh, but, you know probably any money that comes in now uh, you know I've got some track stuff I've got some nice you know, I've done some money on some track stuff but any money I generate now uh, the, probably the first thing priority thing for me is to get the rifle range open there's that wind uh, to get the rifle range open um, and then uh, you know work from there towards you know to getting at the uh, Project Dragonfly and the track and, and how great that's going to be uh, for the island. Um, you know, as far as it goes, a few pilots are already uh, sort of in contact with me on the island and there's, you know, there's some growing interest, which is really great. But we all know that, you know, to set yourself up, um, you know, it's going to cost a little bit of money. Um, you know, so there's that process to go, you know, people get into it, people build themselves up, people learn how to fly. I mean, you know, you've got to have a certain amount of skill to get successfully around the track. But that's great, that's great because, you know, this early part of this journey, you know, the pilots we have turn up here, uh, I, I, would, I would have said the majority of them uh, would be like myself, starting out, learning the, learning the craft of flying about. And, uh, you know, so that's a process that's going to take a bit, a bit of time. 
the uh, air rifle on the other hand, uh, there's a lot of people, it's, 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 it's sort of well known in the island, for, you know, a lot of people like to do the hunting thing, and the shooting thing, the pheasant shooting. Uh, and, and it's and it's a fella thing to have a little air rifle and then find out that, that actually there was nowhere to actually use it. So so we're hoping to fill that niche with what we're going to do here. So again, that's going to be the something. That's going to be the one thing that's going to, you know, uh, I think quickly bring in the revenue. So m probably my my first train of thought is going to be uh, on setting that one up, getting that going, uh, and and then as time goes by, we, you know, keep concentrating. That's not to say that you know I'm not going to be coming up here. I'm not going to be gearing up for the track. I'm not going to be out there practicing myself. Uh, one thing I can do and have been doing, wind again, one thing I can do and have been doing while, um, you know, the money's been short on the ground and I haven't had the money to, uh, to, to you know, to push it on to its conclusion just yet, is, is and that's getting into the media and content providing, and, and, and I, the irony to that is I've not put much content up, but behind the scenes, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to work out me, me, me video editor and, and, you know, all the great things it can do and I can't do with it. So uh, you know, so there's a process there. I'm, you know, I'm looking into Instagram. I'm starting up that. That's that's totally foreign to me. So so there are always these little things, Snapchat, uh, that you can spend time on. That's not really going to cost you any money, uh, and that's kind of where I'm at at the minute. So anyway, um, I'm probably not going to be up here until next week. Now, um, when I come up, I'll have a little bit more of a plan about where I'm going with it. Hopefully, get these electrics in, um, but we'll see how it goes. Thanks for joining us. Uh, have a great weekend, and I'll see you on the other side.